From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. It's Friday, August 14th. I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Today is move-in day for roughly 5,500 students returning to UConn. Things will look a little bit different there, though, because of the pandemic. Here's some video from past years. Move-in times this year are set ahead of time, and they're staggered to promote social distancing. Once moved in, students will have to stay on campus for 14 days and need to be tested for COVID. The fall semester this year is also shortened for in-person classes. They'll go fully online starting November 21st. Some developing news in Hartford today. Police are looking for a driver who hit and killed a person and then took off. This happened on Weathersfield Avenue near Seatown Supermarkets last night about 10 o'clock. Police say they found the vehicle involved in the city's north end. And here's a quick look at the coronavirus in our state. The latest numbers show 76 more people tested positive out of 8,000 tests. The positivity rate is just under 1%. In the last day, no one died from the virus, but five more patients are in the hospital. All right, good morning. I'm meteorologist Melissa Cole. We'll look at your Channel 3 early warning forecast. We're off to a great start this morning. Enjoy the drop in humidity. It's 67 degrees at this hour in Torrington. It's 68 in Hartford, 72 in New Haven. But our two points have dropped off into the 50s to 60s. So much more comfortable than that oppressive humidity we had around for much of this week. A little bit of reduced visibility thanks to some fog out there, but it's not slowing people down too much out there. We had some rain yesterday along the shoreline. In fact, New London picked up up about a half an inch of rainfall, but nothing right now that's going to impact our weather at all, except for bright sunny skies. Next chance of showers will come in on Sunday. Here's our ICAM in Waterbury, 69 degrees, partly cloudy skies overhead. Our ICAM in Hartford shows a little of that fog I was talking about. It's 68 degrees, winds out of the north. Here's a look at your high forecast map for the day today. Generally speaking, temperatures in the low to mid 80s, a few upper 80s out there. And we'll check out our seven day forecast as you make your weekend plans. Tomorrow looks like the pick of the weekend with a high of 82 increasing clouds. Cloudy, cooler showers on Sunday. Highs only in the 70s. Tuesday through Thursday looking beautiful. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.